Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. Glad you're able to join us. Remind you all over social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, our official website, thestephennightshow.com. If you rather watch, just go to our YouTube channel, The Stephen Knight Show. Subscribe, comment, let us know what you think. Lydia has a lot of fans out there on YouTube, by the way. Um, uh, don't forget, tomorrow is election day in America, um, November 8th. Make sure you go out and vote. If you haven't already voted, I early voted. But if you haven't voted, make sure you vote. Your voice matters. We need you. Democracy is at stake. You know, just make sure you do what you got to do. All right. So Chike is out today, but we got Lanier. We got Nayir. How y'all feeling? Good. Good. I'm good. good. Lanier, I know you were on a girl's trip. How was that? Oh, man. You know your age be showing, boy. Right. You know, it, it was different when my boyfriend and I went. We relaxed. You know, you I haven't been I hadn't been on a girls' trip in a long time, and I missed it. So I enjoyed the sisterhood. But let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> one falling asleep at karaoke, the other one saying, "I'm going to bed." Next thing you know, I'm tired. I'm good night. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> it wasn't like no long, long hang. Well, no, 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 no. We were sleeping. We was tired. We was yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so
you know, they don't really like CAT scans. Yes. You know, I, so I almost had to get one. I almost had to get one um, two years ago. And they wrote me a prescription for, um, I think it was Xanax or something that they said that would help. Um, mm -hmm. But they never called me for appointment and I never called them. So <laughs> <laughs> you don't say nothing. I'm not going to say nothing. I thought you just went through. I didn't know you had to sit and lay there for like 45 minutes. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, yeah. I was asleep. Yeah. I was snoring. I was done. I was it was oh, funny because I had braces and they were worried about my braces. Like, what do you want me to do? I can't take my braces off. Y'all want right. to do this? I'm do I did have to take the bobby pins out of my wig, though. <laughs> so <laughs> I did have to take those out, but I fell asleep. And you just hear the noise as it's yeah. doing whatever it's doing. But, you know, I go to sleep 0 0.2 seconds as soon as I get on the airplane. So Yeah, that's me. That's me. Well, Twitter's at home. Let us know. Do you have any phobias? Stephen Ice Show, SHL. All right. Well, Drake has a new album out, and anything, anytime he drops an album, you know, there's conversation. Uh, and this go around, and Champagne Poppy seems to be leaning into the album title, Her Laws, and coming for everybody from Megan Thee Stallion to Serena Williams. Now, um, while Party uh, is named Trend on Twitter from request for him to defend Meg. Serena, um, Serena Williams' husband, Alexis, um, he wasted no time addressing Drake. So apparently in the song, Drake called um, Alexis a groupie, Selena's groupie. And so he clapped back and said, the reason why I stay winning um, is because I'm relentless about being absolutely best for whatever I do, including being the best groupie for my wife and daughter. Then he added a photo to his clap back and tweeted, uh, where he is admiring Serena on the court while holding his daughter. Given group, he, uh, he said, um, Alexis Clapback aims at Drake's lyrics and it says, sidebar, Serena, your husband is a groupie. He claimed we don't have a problem, but no boo. It's like you coming for sushi. Now, if you all remember, Jake, Drake and uh, Selena, it was never like a confirmed dating, but there are rumors that they dated back in uh, 2011 and then in 2015 they were seen he was seen in a lot of her matches they also were seen publicly um, kissing and things like that so we're not really sure why he's going after um, Alexis but um, Serena and Alexis welcomed their daughter in 2017 and tied the knot the same year last year he kept the same energy behind his wife that he had on Twitter he told Twitter user he has no problem being known as Serena's husband or Olympia's father. He attached um, to the thread, he, you know, he talked about him being an entrepreneur. Um, he, he said it's cliche, but um, my life changed when I became a husband and a papa. It's made me a hundred times better as a man and a businessman. And at Serena Williams, I found a partner I knew I would never outgrow who will always motivate me to be great. Drake has not um, responded to the Megan callouts from the fans or to Alexis um, mentioned in his tweets. What do you think? I'll ask you now here. Um, why did? Why do you think Drake is coming after these people? And I saw some people that are associated with the project said he wasn't talking about Megan because you know he made reference to her being shot in the foot allegedly, but he, but they said it wasn't really about Megan. It was about women lying on different situations and things like that. But he's getting a lot of, uh, you know, feedback, negative feedback for these references and his, in his um, and even that one young rapper with the red hair, he, he said something about he rather, her, she's a 10, but he rather have her on mute or something like that. Like, why is he going after these people? What are your thoughts? I mean, it's, 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 it's just common sense. Drake, Drake is, He's doing what he does best. I mean, this is how the records get sold. This is how people get talking. This is how the publicity pumps. You know, it's uh, actually, I, and I, I, I took the groupie statement the other way. I actually thought he was, I thought Drake was calling him out, uh, Serena's husband, as being a groupie to Drake. I didn't realize he was talking. Well, I, you know, I, 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 didn't, I didn't take it from the perspective that you just spoke on, um, which is an interesting thing as well. But, you know, I, I listened to the album. It's a pretty cool album. Uh, mm. I, I think he, he needs that. That's just a part of what else is going to sell the records. You know, what, what else is going to sell the records? I mean, yeah, he's a good artist. 21 Savages, I, 
but what else is going to sell the records? They got to throw some punches and jabs in there so that people get talking and really pump the sales up and the listens, because all that matters are the streams. And in order to get money behind the streams, you got to get people to go and tune in. So if you get them tuning into certain songs, you, you dra name drop all across the album, you're going to have your streams up, you know, and that's just what it is. That's why I think he's doing this. It's all, it's all for the marketing and promo. Then I wonder, you know, his last album was more of a dance type album and he got some negative uh, feedback from that. I wonder if he decided to go a little bit harder this time, you know, in response to that feedback. What do you think, uh, Lanier? First of all, you can't put Drake and going harder in the same spectrum. <laughs> Let's call a spade a spade. I saw your face. <laughs> Let's call a spade a spade. Uh, Aubrey nor DeRossi is on that. <laughs> We're not going to do that. But, um, I mean, you know, it's interesting. You know, it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of people you could talk, you could talk smack about people talk smack all the time. So, you know, it's your right, you're entitled to. Um, and as, you know, Chica Evans would say, you know, people are sensitive when it comes to artistry. Um, I can't say whether or not, you know, that's who he's talking about. I don't know what's in that man's mind, um, but I will say this. Even if he was talking about her, Megan getting a check because they sampled some of her music. So she getting writer's credit on the very same song that people think he's talking about her on. So I wonder who's really winning that. Yeah. Hmm. And I mean, you know, and uh, everything does not deserve a response. Party ain't got to respond for, for what? He don't have to respond. And just like Serena's husband, I love his clapback. It was simple. He's supposed to be a groupie for his wife, just like she's supposed to be a groupie for him. There's nothing wrong with that. Like people got the game messed up when it comes to support, when you supporting your partner and, and, and who is it? Oh, like with Russell and Sierra Wilson. Like dudes really be in their feelings about Russell Wilson. And I'm trying to understand why y'all worried about this grown man. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, because it ain't you. Because <laughs> it's not you. So, I mean, whether or not he's talking about either one of them, it's, it's I don't know, did, it didn't like used to be a cold, like real men don't speak on women like that. Mm. I'm just curious. Mm. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it was something I saw on TV. But I just, you know, like, you just don't, it's certain things you don't cross. It's like on the street. You don't mess with women and children and old people. Mm -hmm. Go after, go after them dudes. Go after them, go after them other dudes. I don't remember ever seeing him really, because I think, what was it, um, What's what's the what's the, what's his name from from uh, clips that he was getting into it with? Pusha T. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pusha T talked about his mama, his his baby mama, his daddy, his kid. Like and you ain't really saying nothing to Pusha T. I'm just, but you know, I don't know. I and haven't Megan, heard the song either. So, in magazine, but think he was talking about it too because she tweeted, "Stop using my injury at, for clout." You know, the kind of something she said to that effect. So she seemed to. I thought he was talking about it too. Yeah, everything don't deserve a response because then you're feeding, you're feeding into into that that type of energy that, you know, you really don't want to feed. I'm not gonna call it negative, but it ain't positive. But you just why feed into it because that's just helping this that you know those streams go up because people are interested in listening to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they want to hear what's going on. Yep. Well, Cher has a new love. You know, she's seventy six. She's new love. Um, she's in love with. She says she's in love with Alexander Edwards, and she doesn't bother about him cheating. Apparently, he was in a relationship with Amber Rose. They had a child together, and he they broke up because Amber Rose accused him of cheating on her with twelve women. He admitted to cheating, um, but anyway, so they were spotted out on a Hollywood date, um, and she even admitted that he has met the family. And he's giving her queen treatment. So following, following a paparazzi sighting, uh, Cher opened up about dating Def Jam music exec on a November 6th by tweeting a zoom in photo of AE captioned Alexander, heart emoji. 
the pop sensation started spilling details about dating AE after fans sent uh, repeated warnings about cutting him off. Babe, she said, English is my first language. I'm in heart emoji, not blind by it. She replied to tweets about AE cheating history. She added, know what I know. Smoke doesn't always mean that she put fire emoji. Elsewhere in the thread under AE's picture, she doubled down on choosing to date AE. She said, as we all know, I wasn't born yesterday and I know for sure there are no guarantees. She replied to another fan's warning, anytime you make a choice, you take a chance. I've always taken chances, that's who I am. Now in August of 2021, Alexander admitted to cheating Amber, on Chan Amber Rose just one day after the mother of his son slash accused him of cheating with 12 women. He said, I love her, that's like my best friend. And he said on Instagram Live, she's the mother of my son and I love Bash, my stepson and shit too. You know, that's just me, I, I like women. Now, when fans asked uh, uh, Cher, she said, they asked, is this your new man? The singer played coy, responding only with the emoji covering wooden hearts. Still, she spilled on some more uh, tea, um, you know, people were asking questions. She said that she met the 36-year-old at during Paris Fashion Week, though she didn't specify about which season, but Paris Fashion Week, summer 2023, took place between September 26th and October 4th. Since then, AE has met everyone in her family, not but just not her best friend, uh, Paulette Howe. Despite his past, Cher also said that AE is serving her right. Uh, someone asked her about their 40-year age gap. Again, she's 76, he's 36, and she's not worried about it. She said, love doesn't know math, it sees heart emotion. Uh, she said, some people meet others, some, uh, some people meet others recognize. She replied to a tweet celebrating the 40-year-old age difference. But don't confuse the singer opened up about her thing thing with Edwards as, uh, her de as she's defending it. She said, I'm not defending us. Haters going to hate. Doesn't matter that we are happy and not bothering anybody. So... Linnea, what do you have to say about this share? Do you, first of all, do you think this is a real relationship with they're really dating, you know, 40 year age difference? Um, and the fact that she's responding, because she is very active on social media. What do you think about this? First of all, I love share. <laughs> That's, you know, oh, 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 oh I love share. Um, listen, do you boo? Because if it was some old dude with a young chick, I mean, there's no difference. First of all, <laughs> you got Cher, you got Madonna that's still as wild as she was when she yes. was younger. Madonna yes. is a young thing. I right, listen, if it ain't broke and it still work, then do you whatever. I had I really had to Google this dude to see what he looked like because I didn't know who he was. Right. So those, Amber Rose got like I don't know how many, how many babies, she got a lot of baby dads. I don't know, but she got different baby daddies though. Right. So I had to Google him. To, I'm just trying to figure out, you know, how was you in a position to, 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 to meet an icon like that and put your bead in <laughs> Right. With, with the same icon? You went from Amber Rose to share this upgrade? <laughs> um, I don't know, like how you work that out. Like, we need to know your secret. Like, what you got going on? Right, right. Naya, what are your thoughts on this relationship or this dating situation? Yeah, I mean, it, it obviously, well, obviously, it, it's temporary for sure. You know, it's, it, it's it's fun. It looks good in the media. It looks good in the press. It's everything that everything that they need to be buzzworthy. Um, but, you know, I, I, I'm always saying this. I just look at it. It's all wrestling to me. This is all, I don't know what's really behind all of this. I just feel like it's, it's got something to do with the entertainment value. I, they make it, this is how they make their money. So, you know, I, even though Cher has not been one for, you know, a lot of gossip and rumor mill type of, type of entertainment, she's still an entertainer. So I feel like this, this relationship is a part of that. It's a part of whatever it is that they're trying to, you know, 
the, whatever project they embarking on, you know, sometimes that just entails who you're dating. Um, do I think it's real? Man, I think they're just having fun. I think it's temporary. Yeah, it, it, that guy is cool though. I, I remember that guy when he was dating um, Amber Rose and he seems like a really cool creative person to be quite honest. He seems like a really cool guy. Somebody that, I, he seems like somebody that I know, you know? Um, so, I mean, it's probably not difficult for him to, to attract whatever woman that he wants. Um, uh, he and I think he's an executive, isn't he? Doesn't he work in the music yeah, industry? Executive. Yeah, he, he works yeah. in the industry. He did some stuff with Tiger. He was an artist too at one point in time. Um, okay. Yeah, he's a really interesting person. He makes his own money. He makes his own money, yeah. He reminds me of Dallas Austin, like a new age Dallas Austin, you know? Okay. But he's like a low key guy, but he makes, he does make, he makes his own money. I don't know if he got no share money, but he definitely makes his own money. He can carry his own weight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look, like you just said, they ain't hurt nobody. Just publicity. Just publicity. Yeah. So he's just on. And like you said, there are a lot of older men in their 80s dating women in their 30s, in their 20s, even in their 40s. So absolutely. Absolutely. Do your things. Do your things. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take a quick break. We'll come back. Find out um, why Dwayne Wade's um, ex-wife is um, fought, has filed a petition against Dwayne Wade on how he's raising their daughter, Zaya. And then, um, do you remember the woman who, um, she, she was sentenced to five years probation for killing um, her alleged rape, rapist? Uh, she's escaped. More of that will come back, right back after this. Mm -hmm. 